Okay, Dave, we're going to see if I can uh, make this video again for Canva. I've made it several times, but I haven't been able to uh, send it to you for varying reasons. But we're going to give it a go again. Okay, I'm going to open my web browser, which is Google Chrome. And on my toolbar for Google Chrome, I have Canva. So basically, just go to Canva. And if you haven't got a free account with Canva yet, make one. Um, I have a free one. I haven't purchased it yet. I will. I really like Canva, and I'm going to purchase one. I just need to make a little bit of money out of selling books first because I've determined it has to pay for itself. You can see that um, I've made some book covers already for Stethoscope Parables. No Longer Guilty, which of course is the first book I'm going to launch. Weathering the Storms, Poetry That Builds Faith. And that's the back cover for No Longer Guilty. Um, so I, I've already made a few covers. Um, but what we're going to do now is go to create a design ebook. We'll just select that. And that opens up the editing page. And you see here there are several, quite a few Canva layouts. And um, you just pick the Canva layout you like, or you start without a layout at all. Um, and I'll show you how to do that on the next one. Um, the most important thing when you're looking for a layout is to choose, well, I think personally, to choose a text that you like because that sets the mood. You can do what you want to do with the pictures. Um, but let's just get started. I'll, I'll just pick any one and uh, we'll get started. Now, any of these, obviously we don't want any of these items, elements. So we can just select the element and drag it, drag it off to the side and it will disappear. Or we can select the element and up in the right hand corner there is a trash can and we can delete that element. Uh, or we can leave the element there and we can change its text. And um, it becomes our own element, doesn't it? Um, I don't quite know why that didn't all disappear, but David Walker, MD. And uh, it becomes the element for us. However, I'm just going to delete them. Um, drag them off. Uh, if if we go to background, we can change our background to any color we like. And I'm going to use that background. We can use the color palette, and we can choose any color in the palette. Um, at the moment, I'm going to stay with white, and uh, we'll use a colored background for the next one. Okay, elements. Oh. I like photos, so I'm going to go to photos, and I'm going to do a search for hospital photos. My caps lock is locked on. I just want photos, and I've already done this, of course, as you know, so I'm just going to scroll down. and As you can see, you can buy photos for a dollar each. There are pro photos. They're what I'm, I'm presuming you get them free if you buy, if you upgrade your Canva and go to the upgraded version. Uh, I'm just going to choose this free one. There we go. Now I'm going to en enlarge this picture until it's just above the picture frame, uh, the book cover size, and 
just below the book cover size. Now we have a borderless image. Clicking on the image, I can move that to anywhere I like. I chose to incorporate a little bit more of the blue so that it was a bit more colourful. And I went for about about there. But put it wherever you like, Dave. I mean, just wherever you like. And choose any picture you like, obviously. Uh, I'm just going to go for that. Okay, so there's our image. Go over into the left-hand side and go to text. Add a heading, and we want stethoscope parables, and there's our title, stethoscope parables. I'm just going to take that out to the outer edge. This is just a text box. Take it to the outer edge while I just sort it out. Okay, I don't like the font. I had a look earlier. Here's the fonts up here. Choose any font you like. Uh, there are heaps of them. I went for Playfair Display Black, which I I liked. Uh, and I want to up the font size to 56. And now that I've got it there, I want to right justify it, bring it in a little bit too far, somewhere like that, take it up just a step more. And there's our title, Stethoscope Parables. Now, we do not have to, like in Windows or Word, you highlight all the text you want to change. In this program, you just have to have your cursor inside the text box. And then you can change anything you like. I'm going to stay with the Playfair. I'm going to stay with 56. We can change the font color. Again, we can go to the palette and we can change, choose any color we like for the text. I'm going to stay with black. Uh, if it's a font that you can put into bold, you can put it in bold or you can put it in italics. And I chose to do that because it makes it more like a script. You can justify it left, center, or right. You can increase the size or decrease the size, all lower caps, uppercase. Um, you can make a bullet list. You can change the spacing between the letters. Now, I like a little bit of space between the letters, not too much, but a little bit. And you can also space the line height, which I'll choose to close it just a little bit. Um, you can then make your transparency of your text. I'm going to leave that at 100%, but while we're talking about that, I'm going to reselect the picture, and I'm going to change the transparency on the picture. I might take that to about... Yeah, that's that's not bad. 76. Maybe maybe it's a bit washed out. Maybe go 80. Eighty five. Yeah. I'm gonna leave it there for now. But you make it whatever you want to. Okay, so now I'm gonna add a subheading. And my subheading is Hospital Stories, enter with a enter scriptural message. Okay, so now I'm going to pull that up here. I'm going to off center it slightly. <coughs> yeah, I, I think I'm going to move this over a little bit. Maybe I'll make that a little bit more central. And I'm going to put hospital stories slightly over. Now, I don't like the font, so I'm going to change the font to Aileron Heavy. 
I'm going to make it bold and I'm going to take it up to about no too high 32 make the text box a bit bigger so that we have you know I don't dislike that hospital stories with a scriptural message um, but you can again you know change the text change the font the font size the color uh, I definitely like it a bit bolder maybe even take it up to 36 yeah I don't dislike that a little bit bigger um, maybe fade that out just that picture out just a little bit more again yep I like that then we want another subheading and we'll bring this one down here and that is going to say Dave Dave Walker MD I'm going to go aileron heavy again I'm going to make it bold and I'm going to take it to 32 and I'm just going to scratch that text box out on both sides because that means that the name is dead center on the book cover okay there it is very simple now what you do now is uh, file save it saves quite frequently but file save download download it as a JPEG and hit the download button and you will have it on your on your computer ready to use there it is okay um, because I've now saved that if I close that I will see that I've got a uh, an area here that says that what else there's something being saved and it's now generating a preview and when it comes up it'll be just like one of these I think it's this one um, and it's ready to go let me show you how I made this one again we'll go to a uh, an ebook design um, we go to background and choose the background um, whatever background you want to work on to start with then elements photos and this time I typed in stethoscope oh, no double T in stethoscope well, why am I not surprised okay now I really like that picture but as you can see you've got to pay one dollar for it one use United States dollar um, there are others you can get for free um, you get with pro there will be some free ones but for a dollar No, well, that's a stethoscope but anyway for a dollar I really like that and uh, I just made that a fair bit bigger and um, And then I just put my text on it the same way as I did before.
take that up here. Um, increase its font size. Uh, Aileron Heavy is not bad. I quite like Aileron Heavy. Stethoscope Parables, if I just take that to the very edge of the book cover, then I have it dead central. And uh, Stethoscope Parables. Um, and then just put the rest of the text in as I uh, as we did before you can put your uh, your different messages in there um, Hospital stories with a scriptural message. Now you notice that I'm coming up with white text now because of the background. And um, And there's one that you can You know, it's very simple, Dave. You've got all of your your layouts, your elements, your text, your backgrounds. You can upload some of your own. I uploaded that picture, those two pictures I uploaded and used. Um, once you select your text, you've got your font type, your font size, your color, your bold, your italic. You know, I liked that in italic. Yes, I can't take it italic. Yes, I can. Um, and I can increase the spacing. So there you go, my friend. That's how you use it. God bless you. I'm going to load this up onto YouTube and you can uh, access it there. Bye now.